conhece? Não, e tu? Também não. Cheio tu de rica, né não? O quê? Passei lá pelo cabelo. Se for, qual o problema? Já viu rico namorar pobre? Cyber Shadow is a challenging retro platformer similar to Ninja Gaiden on the NES. Cyber Shadow was created by Arne Hunziker, or Mecha School, and published by Yacht Club Games. The game was released on January 26th of 2021 on the PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and of course Steam. Cyber Shadow takes place in the future where Dr. Progen and his army have taken over Mecha City. It is up to you, Shadow, the sole survivor of the clan, to stop Progen and save your leader who taught you everything. Controls are on the simplistic side, at surface level, because all you can do is jump with different heights depending on how long you hold the button and attack. However, later on you get new abilities to add to your kit, like being able to throw a shuriken, doing an upward swing that shoots fireballs out of the sword, and dashing through enemies. There are also temporary power-ups, like one that increases the range of your sword, to a blade that swings around you, to a shield that blocks bullets and fires its own ranged attack when you press the attack button, and of course, many more. Now that we're done talking about how the controls work, let me just say that Cyber Shadow's controls are fantastic. Generally, if you end up dying, it's going to be on you, and not because the game is having slippery or finicky controls. I'll give props to Mecha Skull for making the game work with only two buttons and a D-pad. You didn't have to do things that way with that limitation, but you did, and it worked. However, the first thing I noticed was the music. That's right, we got some bangers and nut busters here. And the thing is, normally in games, I only like a few tracks from the OST, but this game soundtrack absolutely fucks. And I love it all. The person in charge of creating the music was Pentadrangle. And dude, I just want to tell you, you did a stellar job making the music. You really crafted something special. And just to prove I'm not over exaggerating, just listen to the sample. <laughs> Does the game have any negatives or anything that it can improve on? Well, let's go back to the special moves that I talked about. In Cyber Shadow, you get a downward stab move that you have to spend SP to use. In a normal circumstance, I would be fine with it. But you do have to use this move quite a bit and you end up draining your SP for it. Now, you can still use it without SP, but you can't use other moves like the shuriken and uppercut. So in my opinion, I probably would have made that move free to use. But if you charged it, it would cost you one SP. Also, I don't think the game is replayable, even though I had a blast playing through this game. And I do mean that. I don't think that I'll ever go back to it. No need to. I beat the game. Even though I didn't collect all the items, honestly, I don't care. I was able to beat the game without them. Now, if there were extra levels with more awesome music, not only will you have my full attention, you'll have my full erection too. I'd be down to keep playing more levels, no matter how hard they are. And lastly, this one's more of a warning than something that the game needs to improve on, but this game has NES difficulty. It's hard. Listen, Cyber Shadow doesn't do anything new with the specific niche it's trying to fill, but I do think it's a quality product and it really resonated with me, and I think you should play it too. With that said, so, you want to play Cyber Shadow? Ultimately, that choice is yours. But if you are interested, the game is $19.99. Well, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot if you did. And if you want updates on what I'm going to do next, please follow me on Twitter.